I need to record a video. I really need to record a video. I am, like, super stuck, though, like, creatively. Like, completely creatively, like, I am stuck. And I don't have a good idea why. But do you guys ever get that way? Anyway, I'm recording a video today. I'm doing a vlog video. I'm going to work now. Um, yes, we're going to do this. And we're going to go to work right now. I feel like I'm running late because I always feel like I'm running late. But I'll actually probably be five minutes early. This is the way my brain works. And my brain right now is stuck so hard. I don't know. Anyways, I'll see you guys soon. So creative blocks, right? It happened when I used to write, it happens when I'm writing code, it happens when I'm trying to be a YouTuber, it's happening right now as I'm trying to be a YouTuber. And it can happen to you if you're out there trying to learn how to code, if you're trying to build a portfolio and you're trying to build projects for a portfolio and you just can't think of something to do. So what do I do to get over those and how do I really like push myself to get through it? And I want to put this discussion out there with a small caveat. The time that you really need to be the most creative, like I know a lot of people worry about being creative and whether they're creative enough to be a programmer or not. The thing is, is that creative is a weird word when it comes to programming. A lot of times you're going to be working on tasks that are given to you that you don't have to be super creative on in like the traditional sense, like in the artistic or writerly sense. Like you only need to be creative in the sense that you're creating something and it's already designed, it's already schemed out. You are building something that you know what you're building. But when you first start out and you don't have a job and you're learning on your own and you're trying to build projects for yourself to impress people out there, then that creative side needs to come out. And even if you don't think of yourself as a creative, you were never an artist or anything like that, it's still possible to get creative and build some really cool stuff. It's just a matter of making your brain do it. Okay, so step one to push through a creative slump to be more productive, because creative slumps can kill your productivity, is to come up with a plan. And the plan should be specific, but doesn't have to be overly specific. Setting out a goal that I am going to build one project for my portfolio this week is a good enough goal. You just have to tell yourself and remind yourself that that is your goal and that you're going to do it. Tell yourself that you're going to do it and constantly remind yourself with that positivity. And that's really step one. Step one is to set out what it is that you want to do. It makes sense. It seems easy. But a lot of times we think uh, I need to do stuff for my portfolio and you don't come up with a plan past that. And furthermore, the step two is to find inspiration. Go look at other people's portfolios or do a Google search on what would be good for a web developer portfolio project and find inspiration so that you can come up with a plan for a specific thing that it is that you want to build. So you don't have to be overly original with your projects on your portfolio when it comes to the idea. What needs to be original, what needs to be you, is the execution. You don't want to just copy and paste over code or anything like that. So plan, find inspiration. After that, my next biggest step is to block off time that's distraction-free so you can actually work on the thing. For me, my brain is at its most creative and I can be the most productive very early in the morning. So I'd wake up at five, I'd get a cup of coffee, let the coffee cool down, drink the cup of coffee, and then start working. And the world is still asleep at 5.30 in the morning, so you're awake and you can be productive and everyone else is still sleeping. Especially like your social media feeds are probably caught up on because you looked at them the night before and your group texts aren't like blowing up because how many people have a group text where all of the members are awake at 5.30 in the morning? Blocking off time that you're going to set out to do your thing. That's important. Having a vague idea of I'll do it Saturday doesn't typically work, especially if you're in a slump. Okay, so the three steps, plan, inspiration, set out time. 
those three things will push you over the edge. And you have to, like, honestly think that it's going to happen. Like, you have to believe that it's going to happen. The biggest problem with slumps creatively, especially like for me on YouTube or for me when I'm writing, is that I just let days pass because I let a day pass and nothing bad happened to me. That's the problem with like the hustle. That's the problem with like trying to move up and trying to like level up your skills is that you're comfortable in your life right now. You're on a path and that path is fairly straight and normal and it's what your day-to-day -day life is. And to disrupt that usually comes bad things, right? Like if you get disrupted because something bad happens to you, you notice that. But if you disrupt your life for the positive, it's actually harder to notice. We know shaking up the status quo for the better is good and we should reward ourselves when we do that. It's just the fact that you have to convince yourself that what you're working towards will better who you are. And if you're wanting to learn code, getting better at code and building projects for your portfolio or whatever it is, is making you better. I hope this is making sense. I feel like I'm rambling now. Anyways, it's about lunchtime. I've got food coming and yeah, I'll get back to you soon. End of the day, time to, oh God, these headphones. End of the day, time to go home and edit this video. Uh, what's currently holding you guys back from learning code or building projects or having your portfolio done? See, what's holding me back from YouTube is this creative slump, like I was talking about. So I set out today to film a video. I knew what time I was going to film, when I was gonna film during the day. I told myself yesterday I have to film this video or I'm just not going to be satisfied with who I am and what I've accomplished today. So yeah, YouTube. I feel like a weirdo because somebody just saw me filming myself. Still haven't gotten over that part yet, but yeah. YouTube, slump, over, uploading this video, videos every week, live streams, things like that. Uh, I'll probably be doing a live stream this Friday. I don't have the dates. You know I never know dates. Anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm going to drive home. We're losing light. I will talk to you guys again very soon. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, if you have a different strategy for breaking through a creative slump, leave it down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Follow along in my journey through this wild world of code. And there's something else that I... Oh, hit the like button because they make me smile. I will talk to you guys soon. I will see you soon. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.